bass lesson for Eagle Rock by Daddy Cool, the Australian classic. Hi, I'm Reese from the Eastern Suburbs School of Music. Gonna teach you this song, show you how easy it can be to play this song. So that was just a line you would hear in the verse of the song. We then have a chorus to learn. Get those two pieces of the puzzle, you've got the whole song. So the verse, the chords we're playing over is an A chord. We will use the higher A note, and I'm choosing seventh fret on your second string, and we are gonna play that one, two, three, four times. You can use your dots as well to find seventh fret very easily. We're going one, two, three, four, and. So that little and note, same string, fifth fret, once again, you can still use your dots to find these frets if you're a total brand new beginner. We then get one, that you do for the verse, you would do that six times in a row. One, two. There's four, there's five, and after that. So just the last two bars to complete this verse part. We are all on, still on string two. That's one, two up from the bottom for you brand new beginners. Seven, seven, five, four are your frets. For those of you who know your fret board, A, A, G, F sharp. And then seventh fret of your third string. We're now playing each note twice. Walk us back towards that A to begin the verse again. Seven, four, five, six. Seven on the third string, four, five, six, seven on your second string. That is your verse part and the majority of this song would then be learned. Uh, if you're interested in where this bass line is coming from, the A Mixolydian mode because we're playing over an A7 chord essentially. Chromatic, tension, resolve. That's the verse. Pause this video. What might help you as well is if you grab the tab sheet that I've been looking to on the side of screen where you can see we have the whole song tabbed out on my Patreon page. You'll be able to find that. Find that Patreon page by just looking above me now, a tab will appear or in the video description below. Uh, for a small fee, you get access to our entire tab out archive of all the tabs for the videos that I create and supports this music school uh, in a big way while we're going through this pandemic. Pause the video, learn the verse. Let me play the verse in full one last time. One, two, three, four. Six of these. There's four, there's five, last one. That's the verse, do it twice before it hits the chorus and you've got the song well underway. Pause this video, learn that verse, grab the tab sheet off Patreon and when you're ready, let's do the chorus. For the chorus, we're gonna to move towards some walking bass and it will sound like this. There's that chromatic walk at the end again. Uh, so what was I doing there? Playing over the A. Seven, four, seven, four. And that all fits within what we would call the A arpeggio. Seven, four, seven, four. Once again, it might be easy to grab the tab sheet off Patreon as we start to get a bit numbers driven through this section. We do that pattern twice. Seven, four, seven, four, seven, four, seven, four. So we're using a similar shape to get 
the uh, bass line for the G chord next. Five, two, five. And when we would have gone two to follow a similar pattern. To the three on the very top string, which is a G note. We are playing after a G, over a G chord after all. Uh, a B minor next. Once again, the arpeggio of the B minor. What does an arpeggio mean? The notes that are in the chord that makes up a B minor chord or a G chord or an A chord is what we're using to create a bass line. So this whole first line of the chorus, one, two, three, four, there's your A, back to G, B minor. So we got the two, on the third string, the four, two, four, root fifth. If you don't know what a root fifth bass line is, just look at the tab above me now or in the video description below. We'll take you to my lesson on that. Root fifth, two, four, five on that third string. Back to the two, back to the B, the root note B. Over to D. Fifth fret of your third string. Drop down a string, four, five, six, and that's moving towards your ears are probably taking you there. Seven. The A chord will come next. Where we are going to go on the second string. Seven, five, four. And then I'm grabbing the F, the eight, that is on the third string. Seven, five, four, chain string eight. And then the same run that you have at the end of what you just learned for the verse with E. It's going to be the majority of your chorus. There is a slightly different ending when we repeat it, but let's just put all that in context. You can also see me playing this as a cover version in full by uh, clicking the tab above me now or reading the video description below. We'll take you through to my cover version, which puts all these parts in context. So highly recommend watching that. Chorus one, two, three, first half. A, A again. Then we're going to move back to G. G. B minor. D. So learn all those parts. A. Individually. E. And then slowly start to piece them together. And as mentioned, not trying to sell too much, but it's going to make your life hell of a lot easier if you sign up to Patreon, grab the tab sheets if you really want to learn this. Uh, one. You would then repeat that. Interesting, it goes instead of back to the, the C sharp, you'll hear a variation there. It goes back to the, a bit like the G chord. G chord, B minor, D. And then here's how we end a chorus. Root fifth octave, seven, nine, nine, seven on your second string, back to the A. Root five octave, A, seven, nine, nine, A. Um, and that's how we're getting the duet, ego run. Uh, that is your chorus, that is your whole song. Uh, what you will now, as I said, need to do is listen to the song very closely to hear where those pieces of the puzzle, the verse line or the chorus line get put into context of the whole song. That's where watching my cover version is going to help you out. Uh, end of the song, it just repeats those root five octaves. Do um, That's all you'll need. Learn the song. Good luck. If you have learned something, click that thumbs up button. Other Aussie bass players are going to find these lessons a little bit easier. Subscribe to the channel, the Eastern Suburbs School of Music here on YouTube. We need all your support to help us get through this pandemic. Uh, any questions, comments, or requests, please leave them on this video. 
and I'll answer them as soon as possible. Enjoy playing Eagle Rock on your bass guitar.